This... This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. If there's a dimension called form, there's another dimension called thought. I call it thought. You can call it anything you want to. In philosophy, they call it the astral dimension. And the word disaster originates from this, to disassociate from the astral or from this invisible dimension of you. And as long as you disassociate from this and live only here, you will have disasters in your life. Because you won't believe that somehow the part of you that thinks, that is thought, that creates thought, is essentially what your humanity is. And most folks don't get that. They think that this is it. The only thing that's real is consciousness. And because we are all part of the greater universal being, we are all connected in a most fundamental way. Many people come up with a different definition for consciousness in their studies. And it's really useful for us all to have an agreement when we get started here of what consciousness is. And one that I've found works really well, and I'll just throw it out as an idea, is that consciousness is the awareness of being aware. Whenever you've noticed yourself noticing something, you have been experiencing your own consciousness. You see, the Big Bang occurred merely as a result of the Creator's will and intention to experience Himself. And so it expanded outwards and manifested itself as consciousness into everything that exists. So not only are we a part of God, but we possess all the unlimited power to create as God does. And our free will was his greatest gift of all. Through the fabric of space and time, scientists have recently been able to measure and demonstrate our connected consciousness. The, the Global Consciousness Project is um, an, an evolutionary step out of 50 years of prior experiments. The experiments were looking at the relationship between mind and matter. I mean, it all devolves back into the question, what is the role of mind in the physical world? A question tonight, can you actually measure the emotional outpouring in a worldwide crisis? Sometimes scientists think that they have done just that. Their machines and computers found a bizarre pattern right after several global disasters. CBS 2's Brendan Keefe explains this phenomenon. September 11th deeply affected people far beyond New York and Washington. The attack sent shockwaves around the world, a global reaction that triggered a spike in a network of scientific instruments, just like a seismograph during an earthquake. Each of those showed a similar pattern of change during that day. Retired Princeton scientist Dr. Roger Nelson believes the emotional focus of millions of people on a single event like 9-11 may form a global consciousness. Does consciousness interact directly with the physical world? To answer that question, Dr. Nelson and his colleagues deployed dozens of instruments around the world, random number generators. Basically, they're electronic coin flippers. Instead of heads or tails, each generates a one or a zero 200 times a second. If you flip a coin 100 times, you'd expect a result of about 50-50, 50, 50, 50 heads and 50 tails. But what if every time you flip that coin, it came up heads? Not once, not twice, not 50 times, but 60, 70, or even 80, all of them heads. We do that every second at each of, um, now we have about 65 places around the world. When truly random, the line of data wanders back and forth around 50-50 in a pattern the researchers call a drunkard's walk. And then in 9-11, it begins not being a drunkard's walk. It goes like this for two days. 
It may sound bizarre, but Dr. Nelson and his team have been at this for the better part of a decade. The first spike showed up in 1997 with the death of Princess Diana. Other events like the Concord crash, the Madrid train bombing, and the Pope's funeral all registered on those random number generators. But early on the morning of September 11th, the data went off the charts. Several hours before the first plane hit. How does it work and what does it all mean? Even the scientists don't know. The implications go beyond science into philosophy and religion. All we know is this, at this very moment, around the globe, the random number generators keep flipping those virtual coins, waiting to record our collective reaction to the next major world event. At Princeton, Brendan Keefe, CBS2 News. The secret is that we have tremendous power and we do not realize our power. And this is the biggest secret because the authorities are frightened, they're scared. That if human beings were really able to access their power, then the genie is really out of the bottle. Absolutely. They would lose their hold over us. Absolutely. And they would, you know, they would never be able to get their hold back. And therefore that's why there is this 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 multifaceted operation of dumb us down to keep us uh, uh, to keep us entertained with reality shows and baseball games. spoon that's impossible instead only try to realize the truth what truth there is no spoon there is no spoon then you'll see that it is not the spoon that bends it is only yourself There 
there are no miracles, no such thing. There's only understanding reality more than you are when you perceive them as miracles. How can it be that you can walk through fire in a certain state of consciousness and not get burned and you can walk through fire in another state of consciousness and be in the ambulance in 10 minutes. It's simply your connection, your interaction with reality is different. If you believe, and it's programmed into the software, that if you put your hand in fire it will burn, it will burn. But if you can go to another level of consciousness that's beyond that, then you can walk through fire and not get burned, as many people do. How can... How, that's not a miracle. It's just decoding reality in a different way. And we have the potential to decode a sodding paradise, which is why this has been kept from us.